flip the lights, change the feed chart. Switching on the green LED in the dark. Another eight weeks, I'd like a new start. Another eight weeks, we flipping your feed chart. Another eight weeks. Hey, welcome back to another eight weeks. I'm Jay with the Fox Farm Soil and Fertilizer Company. And I'm Connor from Taproot Hydroponics. And this is week three of vegetative growth with Fox Farm Soil Fertilizer Feeding Schedule. Let's get down to it. So we're gonna start out with six teaspoons of Big Bloom per that, gallon of water. That's the same that we've been doing, right? Yep, mm -hmm. So we're gonna continue that same base. Uh, that's gonna be six teaspoons or two tablespoons, 30 milliliters for our metric friends at home. Stir it up. We're also going to add grow big again. This time we're going to increase the dosage to three teaspoons per gallon of water or one tablespoon. 15 milliliters for our metric friends at home. A little bit more of that nitrogen as the plants mature. That's right. As they mature, they're going to need more food, and this is going to be the great base to take them there. All right, Connor, we're gonna use boomerang again, same dosage, one teaspoon or five milliliters for our metric friends at home per gallon of water. And then holy mackerel again too? That's right, we're gonna use holy mackerel again. That's gonna be rated at half a teaspoon per gallon of water. Is that the same as last week? Too? That's right. We just need a little bit when we're using the other fertilizers. Okay. A little bit goes a long way. For our metric friends at home, that's two and a half milliliters per gallon of water. Yeah. Okay. We're also going to continue to use microbe brew. This is going to help continue to stimulate root development and it's also going to continue to allow the plants to uptake the nutrients that we're feeding them at a more aggressive rate. And on that, we're gonna do half a teaspoon or two and a half milliliters per gallon of water. Next, we're gonna introduce Kelp Me Kelp You. This is an organic seaweed um, product. It's pre-digested, it's available to the plant. It's got a wide range of auxins, cytokinins, and gibberellins. Um, it's going to give you better root growth, better canopy growth. Plants are going to get more flower sites using it, and they're going to have a better immune system response. With this, we just need a tiny, tiny amount. We're going to use a quarter of a teaspoon per gallon of water. Help me, help you. <laughs> One cool thing about Kelp Me, Kelp You, and Holy Mackerel is that they're both CDFA certified. Okay, what is that? That's the California Department of Food and Agriculture Organic Fertilizer Certification Program. Okay. Is yeah. that better than the Omni? It's a little more stringent sometimes. Yeah, better wasn't worth it. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to be at a range of 1,600 parts per million to about 1,950 parts per million with this mix. Uh, you're going to want to keep your pH in the same range, 6.3 to 6.8, so 6.5 is ideal. In addition to that, we're also going to start using Flowers Kiss. Flowers Kiss is going to be a foliar fertilizer, so with this product, you're going to mix it up in its own separate gallon, two teaspoons per gallon of water. And you're going to spray the plants 12 inches away, undersides of the leaves, and tops of the leaves. What you're going to see is you're going to see even more aggressive growth you're going to see less stretching, so you're going to see tighter internodal spacing. Yeah, and more immediate branch. too, probably because it's more like, immediate too. Like, this is also going to be a great supplement for micronutrients, and it's also got organically available calcium. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a great treatment for blossom end rot. All right. Well, that completes our week three of veg. So we will catch you next week for our week four. Dude, that was dope. <laughs>